In map design, you should treat small features differently than large ones. Hi, I'm Heather and I'm a cartographer. One of the rules of thumb that I follow when I'm designing maps is to use pale colors for large things and dark colors for small things. Let's put this rule of thumb into action. Here I have a map with default symbology applied. The parks layer has some very large polygons. People generally expect parks to be green, so I'm going to change the color. But which green should I use? If I choose a very saturated or dark green, these big polygons are going to dominate my map. When I look at the map, I'm not going to notice anything else because my eye is going to go straight to these giant green areas. To avoid the big features from dominating the map and distracting from everything else, I'll use a pale or light color. If I choose a color that is both light and desaturated, it works even better. And I personally don't like outlines when they're not needed, so I'll remove these. Next, let's look at the buildings layer. These polygons are much smaller than the parks. The same green that worked great for the parks makes many of the buildings impossible to see. Because these features are smaller, they need a darker color. What about the streets? They're even smaller, just lines without any fill at all. So again, I'll use a darker color. And the bus routes? They are not physically smaller than the street features, they're both just single lines, but there are fewer bus routes than streets, so the overall area of the map that is covered by this layer is smaller. So I'm going to make them even darker than the streets so that people can see them. I might make them a little thicker too to help differentiate them. Finally, the bus stops, which are point features. These symbols are very small, so I'll use a very dark color. Next, I'll assess my map. The features that are largest or cover the most space have light and muted colors. The features that are smallest or cover the least space have dark and saturated colors. Is there anything I can do to make this map even clearer? Well, the bus stops could be easier to read if they were bigger and had contrasting outlines so I could see where they overlap more easily. And the park layer while it does have some very large polygons, it also has some very small ones and they're hard to see with this pale color, so I'll turn the outlines back on. Now the tiny parks are easier to see, although look how this small change, turning the outlines on, made the parks layer suddenly dominate more on the map. I can compensate for it by making the color even paler. So the rule of thumb is that large features should use pale colors and small features should use dark ones. This helps to ensure that your map is easy to read. And if you do it the other way around, the map will be hard to read. There's lots of reasons to do things differently. For example, if the theme of my map was the parks, maybe the map is all about how to access parks with public transit, then I would not want to de-emphasize the parks. Instead, I would give them a somewhat darker or more saturated color. Or if my map had a dark base map, I would flip this rule of thumb. But in general, light colors for big things and dark colors for small things works.